This is really weird. Before I discovered minimalism, I only ever had one pair of jeans. However, post minimalism journey, I actually have multiple pairs of jeans. I'm not sure why that is, but I'm actually okay with that because I genuinely love, value, use, and appreciate all of my jeans. Yes, I wear all of them. However, what I am trying to do now is incorporate my love of minimalism back into jeans. So why don't we take these $59 jeans of mine, which are one of my favorites, and see if I can create, build, style five different outfits with them. As my new shopping mantra is with the rising cost of living, buy less, create more. So first up, I've styled my $59 jeans with a burgundy oversized knit that I found from Kmart for about $35. I've tucked it in to create more of a silhouette look and then popped on some kitten toe shoes, which are the cage dupes from Tony Bianco, which are linked in my video description box. And then of course my favorite Lululemon nylon tote. Next up, I've created a more casual slouchy look. I popped on some mesh ballet flats in tan and then put on a matching tan color shirt, which is about four or five years old. I've left this shirt hanging out. So it's got a really relaxed slouchy vibe about it. And then of course I've luxed it up with one of my Chanel handbags which is about five years old as well. Then I've changed things up going for a base of navy blue with a pop of pink in the shoes and the handbag. Now the Chanel shoes are actually pre-loved, which I bought for a fraction of the full retail price, like 80% off. And then I've used one of my favorite pink handbags by my girlfriend, Nikki Williams to add another balance of pink. So we have pink on the toes and then pink around the body with the baseline being navy blue. I absolutely love this color combination, particularly on blondes. Okay. Next up, I've created a bit of a nautical preppy vibe. So I have a striped knit from Cos with gold hardware buttons in navy blue and white. I've tucked in the front so it looks a little bit smarter and polished and obviously enhances a silhouette hourglass outline and then I popped on some cream shoes again with gold hardware and grabbed my Nikki Williams cream purse with gold hardware as well so definitely creating like Tommy Hilfiger vibes but without the price tag then I have my favorite Zara cardigan which I got to celebrate Chinese New Year because I absolutely adore Asian culture and love celebrating Chinese New Year so this is probably the only red item I really own in my wardrobe, but I love it so much. There's something so cozy about wearing a cardigan. It kind of feels like a cocoon. And again, I love navy blue. So I've just kept a navy blue baseline with the pop of red as a cardigan, navy blue handbag by Chanel, which is about, I think, six years old. And then of course, some matching brown shoes to just allow that red Year of the Dragon cardigan to shine. So as you can tell, you don't need to head to the shops or jump online. We already have everything that we need within our wardrobes already. It's just a matter of investing a little bit of time to play, create and build. And just taking one base item and grabbing different items, even if they're hidden up the back of your drawers, wardrobe or cupboards, bring them to life together and see what you can create for yourself. Fall in love with all the items you already own. And I'm here to tell you with the evidence, you do not need to spend a fortune on jeans. The only thing that really matters is that you absolutely love them, they're comfortable and you feel fabulous in them. All the other pieces will come together perfectly for you. Just invest that time having fun. Now I have linked absolutely everything or similar items in the video description box below, as well as my LTK account. And most importantly, if you want to see more videos like this, please let me know by commenting. Because remember, you guys direct Sugar Mama TV. Ciao for now.